I can get started using Oracle Database at Azure the same way I do with all my Azure services, just by clicking the link in the portal and starting the process to set up my environment. After choosing my subscription and giving it a name, I can tell Azure where to provision this instance so it's available in the Azure region and availability zone of my choice. This allows me to ensure the best performance and availability at the very beginning of the migration journey. Next, I can customize compute and storage ratios in my environment according to the workload requirements. This gives me the control to optimize current total cost of ownership and the flexibility to plan for future growth. Similar to other services in Azure, I can specify my preferred maintenance window. This helps me manage interruptions to this very mission-critical solution. Last, I review the information and Azure will have Oracle provision this Exadata instance for me right here in the Azure Data Center. Once provisioned, I can see my Exadata instance ready in Azure. After a simple review of the information to make sure it's correct, I'm ready to create the virtual cluster for my database environment and connect it to the rest of my Azure services. Once I select the Exadata VM cluster, I can confirm the details about the environment. This simple experience ensures the cluster will be set up securely out of the gate. Once I'm done with the basics, I'm ready to define my application environment. This blended experience is designed to feel familiar to both existing Azure and OCI customers. Azure allows me to specify the compute and storage I want to allocate to this specific cluster. With these tools, I can optimize application performance and cost while maximizing the benefits of Exadata for this specific Oracle Database at Azure environment. And finally, the last thing is to specify the Azure VNet used to provide secure connectivity between my Oracle Database and the rest of Azure. Microsoft and Oracle have already done the work to physically and securely connect the systems across data centers with minimal latency. And Azure VNet ensures secure access between all the services in the end-to-end -end application. Now that I have a database application running in Azure, let's check in and see how it's doing. First thing, I look at my application's dashboard in Azure Monitor to check out the health and performance of my system. The out-of-the-box integration of Oracle Database at Azure and Azure Monitor makes it easy for anyone to create custom dashboards and even create single pane of glass view across the entire application landscape. Here, I see the performance metrics of the VM cluster itself and everything looks healthy. I can then switch to look at another dashboard containing the metrics and utilization for the database I created. Here, I see the Oracle database specific metrics, allowing me to determine if the database is performing optimally. Again, everything looks good. Thanks to Oracle database at Azure, I can use my Azure tools to monitor and maintain the health of my systems and have confidence knowing that everything is operating according to plan. Finally, now that I am sure my system is healthy and running well, I'd like to use Azure AI to help users make decisions about what product to choose. Earlier, Seth was on stage showing how Contosa Outdoors used AI Studio and PromptFlow to help customers select the right product. I'm going to extend the PromptFlow Seth used to include structured data from the Oracle database. Here, you see a PromptFlow inside Azure AI Studio using Oracle data as a source for grounding the model with facts from my database. I want to extend the prompt flow from before to include specific customer data to further personalize the results. Because of the extensibility model, I can create a customized Oracle SQL query tool for the database in Azure. Notice that all the pertinent connection data is managed using built-in prompt flow connections. And also notice how I can use standard parameterized SQL queries. In this case, I retrieve customer information along with their previous orders to ground the prompt. Now take a look at how the model responds with a more personalized and relevant answer for customers. It knows exactly who the customer is, along with their previous purchases, and gives a very personalized experience when they interact with our website. To recap, in just a few short minutes, I've shown you how to easily get started migrating your Exadata solutions to Oracle Database at Azure, the power of using Microsoft and Oracle solutions together in the cloud and how easy it is to add AI to modernize your applications around Oracle data.